Hello! Today I'm swapping my screen time with reading time. My daily average last week was 3 hours and 16 minutes, which I honestly feel like isn't that bad compared to some people. But if you break it down by day, on Monday I spent 2 hours 18 minutes on my phone, around the same for Tuesday. But then we get to Wednesday and Thursday where I spent over five hours on my phone. An average workday is literally eight hours. And I spent over half of an average workday just... I don't even know what. So I'm going to be going day by day and swapping the amount of screen time I spent on my phone. So we're going to be doing two hours and 18 minutes of reading today. And I'm currently reading 14 Ways to Die. So I have just under 100 pages left. Books I'm considering reading this week for this challenge is Verity by Colleen Hoover. Layla by Colleen Hoover, Good Girl Bad Blood, which is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and then Four Dead Queens and The Wicked Deep. Okay, I'm gonna set my two hour and 18 minute timer. She is set, and I'm gonna start reading. All right, it is a bit later now. It also started pouring outside, which is why it looks so dark now, but I'm on page 335, and things just got so juicy. What's interesting about this book is they have really short chapters, which is kind of cool because the book moves really fast because no scene is longer than like two or three pages. So, so far it's been a pretty fast moving book. I just finished the book. I would give it a solid 3.8. The ending was so good. Like the last like 70 pages, I was so enthralled. And there's like a reveal, like kind of plot twist on who the killer is. And I thought it was good. Sometimes I just felt like moments were a bit underdeveloped and characters were a bit underdeveloped and there's not really a ton of description in like scenery and like the character's thoughts and stuff like that so that's why it's 3.8 stars for me but i still thought it was really good and i did enjoy it and we have like 50 minutes left so i can actually start a new book today which is exciting i can't decide whether i want to start verity which is a thriller romance or good girl bad blood i think i'm gonna post a story on my instagram asking you guys which of the books i should read okay I just posted the story. I'm gonna pause my timer and then I'll let you guys know which book is the winner and which one I'm gonna start next. All right, it's a little bit later and the results of the story are Verity 56% and Good Girl Bad Blood 44%. So it was close, it was real close, but Verity is the winner. So I wanna start Verity now. Oh my gosh, I just read the first sentence and it's already crazy. I hear the crack of his skull before the splattering of blood reaches me. All right, my timer just went off. So far, this book is really good. I'm on page 48. It's about Loen, who is an author, but she's not very successful. And Verity, who is a really popular author and has this really popular series going on, can't finish the series that she's writing and we don't quite know why. And so Verity's publishing team is asking Loen to finish Verity's series. It definitely seems like there's some mysteries around Verity and around her family that I'm sure Loen is going to get wrapped up into. I low-key don't want to stop reading. I want to read more, but I know I'm going to be reading a lot this week. So I'm going to stop here for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow to do some more reading of Verity. <laughs> Hello, it is day two of swapping my phone time for reading time. So today I'm going to be reading for two hours and 35 minutes, which like I said in the intro, we're starting off easy, but tomorrow is when I'm going to start having to do like five plus hours a day. Anyway, I'm going to be continuing reading Verity today. Like I said, I'm really sucked in and I kind of feel like this is going to be a five star read, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But before I get to reading for the day, I want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is Atlas VPN. Right now they're running a huge discount. You can get a three year subscription for just $1.99 per month with a 30 day money back guarantee. And the link for that deal will be in the description. Another really cool thing you can do with Atlas VPN is bypass geo restrictions on streaming sites like like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. Like I just started Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which I've always wanted to watch but haven't been able to until now because I was able to unlock the UK Netflix library. And you can protect all of your devices with just one subscription. And Atlas VPN is more than just a VPN. It also blocks malicious links, ads, and more. And it can also help you save money while shopping online. This includes things like online subscriptions, airfare, hotels, etc. So don't forget to click the 
link in the description to check out Atlas VPN's huge discount right now, which again is $1.99 a month for a three year subscription and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. All right, let's continue reading Verity. I just finished page 106 and so far it is getting so good. We get to see Verity's past and like how she met her husband and how she became a writer, which I think is really cool. Colleen Hoover also did that in Ugly Love where she went back and forth between past and present. And I love that. It feels like we're getting two stories at once. like two books for the price of one. I do have some work to get done, so I'm gonna take a little reading break, get some work done, and then I'll see you guys later tonight for our last hour and 31 minutes of reading. Hello, it is a little bit later and I'm now on page 183, which is crazy. I think this may be the fastest I've ever read a book in my life and I don't know that my reading speed is getting faster. I think I'm just obsessed. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with this book and I'm flying through it. We actually have less than 10 minutes left and I'm actually sad because I do not want to stop reading. Like I want to just ignore the challenge and finish this book tonight. And it is taking everything my willpower to just read for the next 10 minutes and then wait until tomorrow to finish this book. Oh my gosh, the timer just went off. So I have to stop reading and I'm on page 192. I averagely read like a page every two and a half minutes, I think was my average. And I just read nine pages in nine minutes. Who am I obsessed with this book? That is who. That was a really cheesy way to phrase that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop reading for tonight. Somehow I'm gonna control myself and then I'll see you guys in the morning for day three of swapping our screen time with reading time. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. So here's something that you can Good morning and happy Wednesday today. Things are getting real because we have to read for Four hours and 58 minutes. That's a long time. Setting my timer. Let's get reading. I just finished page 292 and so much has happened. It's actually crazy. And now it says seven months later. So I'm curious if this is just gonna be kind of like a little epilogue to wrap up the end. Why can't I speak? I don't know why, but I still feel anxious. Like something else crazy is gonna happen before this book ends. But so much crazy stuff has happened. I just can't imagine what else is left. Anyway, in very unfortunate timing because I'm literally almost done with this book, I have to go meet up with one of my friends. So I'm gonna go hang out with her and then I'll see you guys later tonight to finish this book and start a new one. Hello, I am back now. I was playing pickleball with some friends, so that's why I'm in workout clothes. But yeah, we have just over, I think, 20 pages left of Verity. And I'm scared. I'm so scared. I feel like something crazy is gonna happen just before the end. Or maybe nothing will happen. It'll just be like happy little epilogue. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Oh, I just finished it. The ending. Oh my gosh, please tell me your thoughts on the ending in the comments if you've read this book. Definitely put like a little spoiler warning, but yeah, what? I don't know how to feel about that. Let me know, do you believe the ending? What do you think about the ending? I have to know. Definitely five stars, like huge, huge five stars. I was hooked in this book from the very beginning. I don't know if I've been this hooked in a book in so long, maybe ever. I don't know. I can never say like what my favorite book is because I've read so many and I love so many, but this one is really, really high on my favorites list. And now we have to move on to a new book. That feels so weird because sometimes I feel traitorous after I read a really good book about moving on to a new book, like that's somehow offending this book that I'm just moving on so quickly. I know that's like illogical, like books are inanimate objects that don't have feelings. Does anyone else do that or am I crazy? Okay, we've got two hours and 18 minutes left on our timer, which is actually a lot of time. So I think I'm gonna start The Wicked Deep. Hey, 
my timer just went off. I just finished page 108 and this book is cool. It's about this really eerie town named Sparrow and the world building in this book, especially about the town is so cool. This curse was put on the town two centuries ago that involves these three sisters called the Swan Sisters who may or may not be witches and they were killed 200 years ago and now they enact revenge on the town every single summer. So it's really cool because it's kind of like magical and fantastical but also kind of the mystery of like how to stop the sisters and the curse. The main character also met this boy who's an outsider and just kind of randomly came to the town so he's kind of suspicious but there's also some kind of like romantic tension going on between them. So there's a lot of elements at play in this book that I really really like and of course the cover is so freaking cool and yeah it's pretty late so i'm gonna go to bed but i have over five hours of reading tomorrow all right see you guys tomorrow hello and welcome to day four today is the longest day by far we have five hours and 12 minutes of reading to do today. And if it looks like I'm in an entirely different house, it's because I am. Right now I'm dog sitting my parents' dog. He's a really cute black lab named Milo, so he might pop into the video some today and tomorrow. And yeah, I'm gonna set my timer and then continue reading The Wicked Deep. I just finished page 155, which means I'm officially halfway done with this book. I was a little nervous about whether or not this book would be good because I think it has like a 3.8 on Goodreads, which isn't bad, but it's not like incredible rating, you know? But I really, really, really like this book. I'm on page 201 and I love the romance in this book. I wasn't sure how much romance there would be because from the summary, it sounds more kind of magical and about this like town and the curse and stuff, but there is a great romance in this book. Oh, what? I literally have no words. I'm on page 212 and the biggest, the biggest plot twist just happened. And I'm like actually speechless. Oh my gosh, I did not see this coming in a million years. Wow, I'm shook, I am I am shaken. Literally visibly shook it. I just finished the book and I really, really liked it. I don't know whether to give this book 4.5 stars or maybe five stars. I feel like I need to digest this book before giving it a final rating. So I'm not gonna commit to anything yet, but I'll let you guys know my final rating in my March reading wrap up. I just think the world building was so good. I loved the romance. I loved like the town and the history and the curse. There was, like I said, that huge plot twist that I did not see coming, really threw me for a loop. And then after the plot twist, I felt so conflicted about what was revealed and how to feel about a certain character. And I'm so, so glad I got this in my blind date with a book package because I probably would have never picked this up on my own. Okay, we have just about an hour left of reading today. So I think I'm gonna start Good Girl, Bad Blood, the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I just finished page 21 and Pip has a murder podcast and she like talked about the website that the podcast is on and I just looked it up and it's a real website that the author made. I'll put a little screenshot in, but I thought that was like really cute that the author made it a real website. My timer just went off and I just finished page 41. So that's where I will pick back up tomorrow. This reading vlog unexpectedly turned into like a spooky reading vlog because so far every book I have read or started is murder or mystery or like a cursed town or something. So despite it being March, these are great like fall October reads. Hello and welcome to day five. That's crazy. Now I'm sad that this video is coming to an end. It's been a really nice week of just reading every day. Today we have two hours and 45 minutes of reading. So kind of a chill last day of reading.
We officially have one hour left and I just finished page 127. I love Pip and Ravi. They are so freaking cute. And what's cool about this book is that it's a whole new mystery, but we still have obviously the same characters in the same world from the first book in the series. And at least in the beginning, there was still like some talk of like the mystery from the first series. So I'm curious as I keep reading if the original mystery from the first book is gonna be super relevant or not. And our timer just went off, which means our challenge is officially done. I just finished page 174. And despite just reading for two and a half hours, I don't want to stop reading. This book it is juicy. So far, I would say it's just as good as the first one. If not, even a little bit better because I already know and love the characters so much. And with that, I guess now it's time to say goodbye and to say I'll see you guys next week. It makes me sad because this has been such a fun week. As usual, I'll have all my links in the description, my Goodreads, my Instagram, my TikTok, and I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye.